Hello, my name's Matt Pritchard, the science magician. I want to share with you one of my favourite science stunts involving a standard drinks can. Any brand will work. And then you get that lovely counter-intuitive balance. And, and what's going on here is if you had a full can of drink, it would just tip over. And if you had an empty can of drink, well, it tip over as well. What you need to do is make sure your can is half full with liquid. And if it's half full with liquid, then when you put it on the angle like this, you get this balance because you've got half the mass of the can and liquid on this side and half on this side. And, and, it's, and it's balanced and it, it's pretty stable. And if you are going to try it, a couple of just simple tips to help the people that you live with. First of all, maybe do it outside because when it does tip over, the liquid will spill out. Second tip is, well, do it with water inside rather than sticky Coke substances. And then I've also just put a bit of tape on the top. So when it does tip over, it doesn't spill. Now, this is a stunt that lots of you will be familiar with. So let, let's take it a step further. And this is something I discovered if you have the right type of bottle, like this uh, sports cap bottle, what you can do is this. You can balance the can on top of the balance bottle lid. And what you want is yeah, you want a bottle lid that doesn't bend up that convex shape. You want it to bend down that convex, concave, that bowl like shape. And when it does try to roll to one side, because it's a bowl shape, it'll roll into the middle. And it's 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 pretty stable. It's a, it's fun to play with. So that that's my first counterintuitively balanced object. And the second one is I, I went to a science museum and I picked up this. This is a flying pterosaur, and it's been designed in such a way that you can have it balanced on the top of well a bottle lid in this case or or maybe on your finger and it's it's pretty stable and again what's happening here is you've got half the mass on this side of the beak and half the mass down here and it's this nice balance however this whole thing cost me uh, about 12 pounds which i think is a rip off and i love doing stuff with everyday objects so let me show you an alternative to do that and what you need for this is you need two forks and you need a cork and you may also notice I've put a cocktail stick or a matchstick in the end there. Now if you place these together here uh, and together there you, what you've got is a very scary pterosaur there <coughs> attacking uh, the viewers back home and that will then balance really nicely on the lid or any object like that. Now, this is again, it's a, a standard sort of science trick that people have been familiar with for, for a good hundred plus years. You see examples of this in Victorian science amusement books. So let's make things interesting because what we've got here is we've got one type of balance and we've got a second type of balance. Now, let's uh, put this can back up here. And, and one thing I realised is, okay, if you put some extra mass at the point going straight through the center of mass it's not going to tip this way it's not going to tip that way it's uh, it's like uh, if you go to a playground and a seesaw if you've got two people either end that are balanced and you put a third person right in the middle it doesn't tip either way so in theory i could then balance something here so that's what i'm going to do so i just want to show you here what we've got is this line going straight through here and you may just be able to spot on the edge of that can just there, I've super glued a matchstick. And that's going to act as a ledge for me to then take my pterosaur and land it on the ledge. And so now what we've got is we've got a double balance. We've got a balance on the bottle lid and we've got a balance on the side of the can and if I slowly rotate this round as long as I don't suddenly jerk it you can see we've got that balance there so that's a double balance so the question then is can we take this further and uh, this is something I've had for quite a while now this is a it's usually like a little novelty that people have on their dining tables when they're serving wine 
and it's just been cut at a certain angle, it's got the hole there. Rather than using a circular bottle, if you use a square bottle, so in this case an olive oil bottle, that will now balance. Well, if I just weigh a little bit down on this side, so just add a bit more here. Now again, we've got that balance. We've got half the mass this side, half the mass this side. And we've got the basis now of building a three level sculpture. Now, just to give myself a little bit extra protection, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put these under here. These are just gonna act as supports. In case I knock something, it will catch. So we've got that there. And then I've also got a, a spirit level that I'm just gonna place on here just to make sure everything is nice and flat for this to work. And then let's start building things up. So if we take the can here, the can can go on top, and then we have to then sort of land our dinosaur on top of all that. Now that's a bit too heavy on this side, so I'm going to slide this this way. And we'll see if we can do this. Now here's the, uh, here's the challenge, so we've got balance, 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 let's take away our supports at that point, and now we've got a triple level balance, but we've still got my flying pterosaur, so let's see if we can just land that to finish, just on the edge there. And now we have got four separate centre of mass balances, making a sculpture just using pretty much everyday objects other than a flying pterosaur, other than this carefully angled wedge. So have a go, see if you can make your own sculptures. Even if you can't build the full thing, have a go with a can, have a go with the bottle and the can, have a go at making the fork cork pterosaur. Have fun, I'd love to know how you get on. Thank you for watching.